What's going on guys? It's always a Clamp Sheepdog here today. I just want to start off by wishing guys a happy new year. And this is my EDC as of late. So let's just jump into it. <clears throat> so the first part of the video is going to be me taking the items off my body. So we're going to go through that quick because <clears throat> we're going to switch it up to the second part and talk about systems in the second part of the video. EDC systems, how to perfect your systems. So let's move right into it. <clears throat> Starting off with my right wrist, I just got a regular Apple Watch. And on my left hand, most of the time I'm always wearing some type of paracord bracelet. This is a Suprezi Straps EDC Prepper. And most of the time I'm wearing jeans and not in cargo short season but if I'm not wearing jeans I'm wearing 5'11 pants and that's going to be if I'm going to the range or something like that so my right pocket I just have a Microtech Ultratech most of the time I'm carrying a Spyderco uh, paramilitary too but that needs sharpened so and I haven't got around to do it. Then in my uh, my uh, my small pocket down here, the little change pocket, I have the Through Night TI3, which has been renamed. Then in that same coin pocket, I have the Leatherman Style CS, and that replaced my. Uh, my sock classic now in my right back pocket I just got some chapstick then my left back pocket I just have my wallet then that's it for the pockets in my left pocket I carry my iPhone which is on charge right now then as far as concealed carry goes I'm usually depending on what's comfortable and what can sell better uh, I'm just gonna move the camera down real quick sorry I'm usually concealed carrying an appendix or my hip this is uh, newly in the rotation and I've been carrying the Smith & Wesson shield for just over a year now and I love it it's been my companion for the day since the day I got it so I'm either carrying appendix or hip and that's about it and that depends on the situation so let's move this back up real quick there we go <clears throat> then where I carry my spare mags move this back down one more sec I'm carrying my spare mags on my left hip uh, either like right on my left hip or just a little back right now I'm carrying a double mag carrier for the Smith & Wesson SD9 because that's the only mag carrier I have for it I could find a double but I sure can't find a single mag carrier for them so um, I'm going to place all this on the bed and we're going to just look at everything together plus talk about systems okay so these are my systems this is what someone likes me lives to perfect every single day what they live by every day um, I got many different carry systems here many different carry components here and <clears throat> this is just a small amount of what I have like <clears throat> for knives that's nothing compared to what I have um, for as far as pistols this is what I got as far as pistols and carry systems um, for the Smith & Wesson MP shield actually both pistols I have a lot of options as far as carry go for the Smith & Wesson shield I got hip carry I got concealed carry I got carry option to carry two mags one mag and the option for shoulder carry now for shoulder carry that come into play when I'm wearing um, something that won't hold a gun up like 
gym shorts, uh, jogging pants, and that's when I sling a shoulder holster. Now, I got many different paracord bracelets, but these aren't any regular paracord bracelets. This is a Suprezi strap, uh, EDC prepper. He's a channel sponsor. This is a barrel ass, uh, big, this is the f fat boy. And this is the, the big city. And is an Apple Watch. I meant to throw more watches on there, but I've had the Apple Watch in 15 degree weather and it has not failed. I have a leather strap on it because it's most casual and it's most comfortable. <clears throat> and this is a knife that I've been testing it's for outdoor and hunting use. This is the Allegheny Knife Works Hunter Knife and D2. But I was I was re reviewing it, getting review footage, and I was wearing it on my belt, and I threw a shirt over, and it concealed well. So I've actually been carrying that as an EDC knife a little bit lately, trying that out. And this is just a TLR6 for my Smith and Wesson M&P shield. Uh, I'm waiting for holsters to come in for that, and I'll have even more options to have a weapon light on my Smith & Wesson shield so I'm waiting on holsters to come in on that and I have many options as far as little multi-tools um, this is the Leatherman style CS I have also had carried the Sock Classic for years but I wanted a new bl bigger blade and it comes with nice scissors so that's a nice trade off you get with going with this and it costs just it costs just as much as the saw classic these are pretty much the only two flashlights I carry this is a through night TI3 it has since been renamed though this is the Cree by ultra Cree LED flashlight by ultra fire still have yet to review that the review is way overdue on that this is my favorite knife ever ever since it came out or before it came out, I've been in love with this knife. This is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, but needs sharpened right now. So, and I'm too busy to sharpen it. So the backup on that one's going to be the uh, Microtech Ultratech. This is uh, late 2015, actually early 2015 run. So. Yeah, <clears throat> and this is my belt that I'm wearing 95% of the time that I actually just took off. As you can see, got some wear. This is the 511 double duty belt. See tan on one side and black on other, and this is really rigid. It will hold up your gun belt well, as you can see. I mean, it's not the most rigid, but you're not going to be able to crush it with your hand. And it's going to hold up your gun belt as much as you need it to. And it's not going to add any extra bulk. Uh, some of those gun belts out there are overkill. This is Maxpedition Wallet. Nice and uh, thin. That's why I switched to this one. But I've had it for a while now. It's kind of getting stretched out. Thinking about purchasing a new one. Just some regular chapstick. To, I'm... I'm always going to have one extra mag on me. The max I carry is two. And I've had this gun on me the past two days with two extra mags. And that's 48 rounds of pistol of 9mm. That's a little excessive. But I've actually only got a double carry mag holster for this. So, And it's winter and you can get away with it. <clears throat> because you're wearing extra garments. So... To top all this off on your man-made, man-carried systems, um, I follow up on something like this. I got a, a trauma kit. You saw this in a review before. Trauma kit that does trauma, and it does um, 
first aid. This is the first aid portion and the rest is trauma. So most people look down on that, but I like to be versatile. Then <clears throat> inside of this compartment, I just got some meal drink. I got some Oakley radars, eye protection from sun, uh, at the range, a Sharpie, extra battery, hand sanitizer, charger, and here I got speed past. Just simple stuff that helps big time. And in here I got a bunch of gauze and a small first aid kit as well just with some band-aids and swabs nothing major then extra gauze in there in case I need to get to it quickly then in here just have random stuff nothing special in there some gum bands so that's about it for my ABC and systems uh, one thing I can recommend for you for cold weather is this North Face jacket. It's going to be $160. That's a little crazy, I know. But this jacket has thermal, it has wind protection, water protection, and everything you could want in a jacket for $160 and I could wear that I wore this in in teens weather and be good this is one of the most best jackets I ever saw and I've ever worn um, I'm trying to look for the model num the number on this okay I found that jacket this is the men's apex chromium thermal jacket um, get this jacket and you'll be set for winter um, you can wear it you can throw it in there and since it's thermal if if you're if you're out and just want to wear it as a rain jacket it will just the warmer weather or if it's colder it adjusts well I've I've worn this in 40 degree weather and I've worn it the whole, well I've worn it in 50 degree weather the whole way down to 15 degree weather and it works well. So as far as wear apparel, I can recommend this and the Under Armour base layers. I know that was a lot, but I thank you guys for sticking around and watching. I hope you guys take my tips and expert your systems your systems are a big thing it could save yours and someone else's life someday systems are a big thing it's all about preparation in the end and who's ready and who's not so i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you guys thought as always it's been a claim sheep dog enjoy the rest of your day